When going the first time to the Arctic, my passion for extreme environments evolved. And uh, I have never seen a place like that before. As an architect, it was a totally different experience how people move and live under such conditions. This place requires unique strategies for urban planning. But what I have seen in, in Greenland is rather a European way of living and building. Accumulated snow was on and around structures, melting and freezing again. And that was actually causing uh, damages to the buildings, mainly because uh, penetrating meltwater was entering facades. And also indoor climate was uh, by that affected. It was even dangerous to, to walk through the city when it was very windy and stormy and I have seen people falling on, on the streets um, just by, by walking through the or between the buildings uh, to get to the supermarket. We take those observations uh, to our laboratories and we then uh, use a wind tunnel setup where we use substitutes to simulate snow drift. We compared these experiments with a full-scale setup in Greenland, a small cube with a weather station next to it, so we can actually validate our tested models at reduced scale. So our first conclusions, we have seen that some substitute materials are more at, um, advantageous than, than others uh, for specific snow accumulation phenomena. Those conclusions we could already see in our testings and uh, consequently that means uh, the choice of material should rather be based on, on uh, expected dominating accumulation phenomenon than on a one uh, material fits all purpose approach. In order to measure the snow accumulation at the model, a 3D mesh model was generated with a 3D scanning method. We then compared the results with the conducted digital images from the reference cube in Greenland and aligned the images to 3D mesh. My hope is if we are able to validate our tests with the full-scale observations, well, this will enable us to prepare a guideline on how to build smart cities in Arctic regions tailored for these extreme conditions and provide an ex extend uh, the expertise on architectural design and urban planning for extreme environments.